this is Karen Fabian with Bare Bones Yoga. I am a huge runner. I ran my second marathon in October of last year. And in fact, today here in Boston, uh, in January, it's about 50 degrees. So I just came in from a run. A lot of people ask me, when you come home from running, what are some good stretches to do? And I know some of you out there are training for the Boston Marathon and for other marathons in the coming months. So I thought I'd show you a couple of quick postures you can do, inspired of course by yoga, that will help stretch out your hips and your lower back when you come home from a run. The first one is pigeon, except you're lying on your back. Some of you may be familiar with this from class, from yoga class. In this version, you're on your back, supported by the floor. Your one leg is bent, both feet are flexed, and the hands are extended and interlaced on the leg, behind the thigh. And you're pulling the leg in as you're pushing the leg away. So there's a bit of an isometric contraction. As you do that, you push the bent knee forward. And you'll begin to feel a stretch in the outer thigh. And then, of course, you would switch legs. Really important in this pose to keep both feet active or flexed and to have the back of the head on the ground, shoulders relaxed, and of course, taking several deep breaths. Another pose you can do will stretch your iliotibial band, which is that band, that thick band of muscular tissue or fascia that often gets irritated when you run a lot. And to do this pose, you would take one leg, let's take the right leg over the left, and then you would drop the knee as far to the left as you can. And then you could open your arms out to the side and turn your head to the opposite side. And then switching legs, same thing. And you can see that as you take the knee closer to the floor, the IT band gets stretched. Another related twist is to have one leg extended and the other leg bent. This is a spinal twist. And then to reverse it, do it on the opposite side. And then, of course, hugging the knees into the chest can stretch out the lower back. A lot of those muscles get tight when you go for a run. Coming up, stepping into downward dog. This is a great all over stretch. Just remember to bend your knees. And then last, traditional half pigeon. If you feel like you can do this, you would bring the right knee in front of the right hip, maybe have something underneath the hip. You could recline putting your head on a block, relaxing the shoulders, and then stepping back into downward dog, switching sides. dropping the head down. And one more thing that you can do is a traditional runner's lunge. From downward dog, bringing one foot forward, stacking the knee over the heel, that's important, reaching the arms up, opening the chest, maybe lifting the gaze, and then switching sides. keeping the knee stacked, lifting the belly in, and lifting up with the gaze. And then back to downward dog. So I hope you have found these tips helpful. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact me on my website, barebonesyoga.com. Happy running.